naitwa Catherine Lagat. Uh, mimi ni auntie ya watoto waliofariki na sister wa marehemu Amos. Uh, ni mazoea yetu sisi mimi na watoto kwenda kanisa every Saturday even before wahamu kutoka hapa. So on that Saturday morning watoto walikuja kutoka kwa nyumba ya mama yao baba yao akawaendea kwa, uh, kwa barabara. Uh, na wakakuja brother wangu akaji prepare vizuri uh, kama kawaida sisi tukaji prepare na masisters wangu kwenda kanisa but sasa vile tulifika kanisa nikauliza sister wangu mdogo na sioni watoto na nikawaida watoto every time nikienda kanisa mali nakaa lazima mmoja akae hapa na hapa like hiyo ni mazoea so hiyo siku niliwatafuta si kuona tukafika hapa 6 tukapata babangu amekaa chini hapo na watoto na ana nalis nikaingia kwa nyumba na usi stangu mdogo tukachukua bag ya kwenda kununua mboga wakatuuliza mnaenda kununua mboga ile kali because tunapenda kienyeji so kaambia ni ile kali nitanunua leo akaniambia sitakula then baba, babu sasa their grandfather gave them 10 bob each tukatembea mpaka huko chini ukanunua sweet tukakuja vizuri tukaanza kupika sapa msichana na my niece akanisaidia kupanguza kitchen mimi kiitwa mboga ya saga and then tukaanza kupika sapa babangu akakuja tukamserve sapa tuka serve sisi na mtoto kijana mdogo alikuwa amekuja kulala kwa kitanda yangu akiniambia aizi kula mboga so wakati nilishindwa kumwamsha nikaita babake akakuja akambembeleza akasema anaendea maziwa ya mtoto Brother angu vina litoka, nikaampia kazi ni angu Jessica, apeleke mtoto inje, akwe air, ndio amke. So, akapele kwa inje, bata kurudi juu, akasema babake ya memchukua, kachukua ugali. Then after 30 minutes, brother angu akapigia simu, akapigia sister angu simu, akapigia sister angu, mnichemishe maji ya kofi. Kachemishe wa maji ya kofi, tukaenda tukalala. So, on the next morning, now on Sunday morning, nikapigia simu na Nancy tena wangu hapa Meret Duka akaniambia toka nje so na alikuwa na knock mlango so nikatoka tu vile nilikuwa nimelala nikakuja bila viatu akaniambia baba viatu so sistangu mdogo Neli alinifuata nikamnyang'anya slippers tukaanza kukimbia tu wote so mimi vile nilifika nje ya gate naambiwa twende kwa shamba because we have another land down there so kakimbia tu that shamba nika kufika huko naona body like on looking brother angu alikuwa melala tu hivi so na as a tell this is my brother plus the jumper he had won so wakati niliambiwa tuende kwa shamba nilisimama kule sunaona kule iko nini tuo kule tuo kule huko unaona clear huko unaweza ona brother angu amelala na juu tunamjua mi aswa mi namjua sana hiki devu yake was so familiar alafu jumper alikuwa amevaa niko na brother yangu amelala lakini juu nilikuwa nataka kujua amejiua ama nini nikadhani ni stress because he came back from Qatar akakosa kazi but mimi nilijiambia i have done so much to make him i feel comforted na tunampenda so nikakimbia mpaka hapa nikakuja nikaona niku nikaona hii shingo imekatwa na amelala tu sasa nikarudi mbio nika sisters wangu hao wawili mas ya uh, Jessica na Nelly walikuwa wamelala hapo wanalia so nasikuwa nataka babangu aone hiyo mwili tu hivyo nikakimbia nikaenda nikampata huko alishao na hapa kanisa hiyo ni mwili akirua ameisha nikamwambia eh yeah. akapiga about sun then went back home so sijui kwa nini mtu alikuja akaamua kumrusha hapa ju clearly hawakumuua hapa Awa kuwa brother angu hapa na awa kumuwa kwa nyumba. So siji mbwana walimuwa hapa kumanisha ni mtu wanatujua zaidi. Anajua hapa ni kwetu. Hani ata sielewe mbwana walimueka wazi. Sielewe. Yani sijelewa kwa nini mpaka saizi. Like the other option ata wangeza kumdusha hapo kwa barabara basi ongeza kumgusha hata hapo kwa barabara because kama walikuja the only way is either past here or there so hiyo kuzunguka yote si wangeza hata kumgusha hapo kwa barabara 
So at first ni kajambia malijua. So I ran paka huko and then kapata dadangu amedungwa kisu amekatwa. Na amevunjwa mguu. So na babangu alikuwa ananifuata nikakimbia mbio kuruja kumrudisha lakini alikuwa ameona. So aliniuliza wewe ni mwilia Kirwa. Nikamwambia tukarudi tu na yeye kufika hapo. There's a guy mwenye anakaanga hapo kwa duka akaniuliza na watoto mmeona. So nikakimbia kuja kufungua mlango nikapata mlango iko locked. Nika flip hiyo mlango ni nini kaona fungua imeachwa hapo nikafungua nikakimbia mpaka ndani Tuka kwa kwa kwa, kwa bedroom ya wa, ya brother yangu kapata pilo side kidogo kulikuwa na damu kulikuwa na pilo na kisu na watoto wamelala tu peaceful like ungejua hata watoto wame wamechinjwa wame so so hiyo tayi nikafunua net nikaguza ukija na mdogo anaitwa Bito nikamuita Bito nikasikia na kauko nikaona tumbo imefura nikarudi tu babangu alikuwa akisimama nikaambia watoto wako tena babangu akasema aka, aka, nikamfuata tu niliona babangu machozi tu ikitoka nikamfuata ada sije liongea nini but after that nikaona tu watu wamejaa hapa i don't know what happened to them i still have a lot of questions na tumeenda tumefanya postmortem tumefanya report we are waiting na tunaomba tu mungu atufunulie what happened we are still in so many questions kila mtu hata hapa we cannot even tell you at ji ubra dangu ni mtu mpole like ata ukienda hapa ronga ya juu and ask anyone they'll tell you my brother was a very peaceful man yeah hata tukikuwa na shida zetu hapa nyumbani tugombane na yeye ata smile na kuacha na atarudi akuongeleshe tu ni kama nothing happens wewe ukidhani umebeba kitu kwa roho yeye alisha sahau so i don't know what made someone kill my brother and then came and slaughtered the kids because at Wele, we we just praying that move at to familiar what happened at the end of Qatar last year December so Aliland Aliland he is his fourth Saturday at Nyumbani we are living on Friday so so Saturdays na na kwa Nyumbani since Aliland so i think those are just three weeks alikuwa na miaka ngapi 31 na watoto walikuwa na miaka ngapi 9 years na 5 years na polisi size wanasema investigation imefika wapi bado wanafanya investigation actually leo ndio tumefanya the first step ya ku kwenda kwenda fanya postmortem na tukaleta report so we are still waiting umesema kuna kisu ambayo ilipatikana karibu na kitanda ya watoto yes unaweza kusema hiyo ndio pengine silaha ambayo ilitumika kuua watoto basing on the cuts zenye nimeona kwa shingo juu watoto wamechinjwa kabisa like the only thing holding kichwa ni labda hiyo mfupa watoto wamechinjwa the cut iko deep kabisa i don't think alafu kisiliona unless siko na vizuri haikuwa na stent that hata mtu kama amedunga mtu you know utakuwa na nini ya kisu juni ile kisu ya mabati hata nyama itabaki i didn't see that hiyo kisu haikuwa hivyo so i still think kuna kitu ilitumika hata brother yangu miguu amekatwa na something inaonyesha kabisa amekatwa na panga and hiyo shingo ya brother yangu inaweza kuwa kisu juu iliingia deep na ikaguara shingo but the kids walikuwa tortured kabisa juu shingo imekatwa mpaka imeachana imeachana kabisa kabla uh, ndugu yako aende Qatar alikuwa anafanya kazi gani alikuwa carpenter alikuwa na alikuwa anatengeneza this furniture na pia alikuwa anafanya ngao kazi ambao akipata wada ambao anauza hivyo na alikuwa na bibi. Yeah, alikuwa na mke. Mama ya watoto sasa alikuwa na kati kwa hii nyumba. So lakini alienda wakati brother yangu alilanda. 
I don't know what happened between them lakini mama anasema alimpigia akamwambia anahama so they had some issues i don't know what issues because sikuweza kuuliza brother yangu ni nini ilifanyika wala nikauliza sister in law so alihama tu na hakuna mtu hata mmoja alisikia kelele ama anything hiyo usiku that night ata i don't know what happened atukusikia anything na hata ukiangalia nyumba there is no commotion like bila watu alilala walilala tu vizuri hata hiyo damu iko kwa sehemu moja tu chini like it's ni kidogo tu but kitanda ndio imesoka na damu na pillows nilipata hivi nilikuwa mlango nikapata kii kwa hapa that is how kajua fungwa mlango mosquito <laughs> nikambaza mosquito na tulikuwa tumejifunika Actually wakati niliingia kulikuwa na padlock Ilikuwa imefungwa Ilikuwa imefungwa but now later on nikakuja nikapata hiyo padlock Hii padlock ilikuwa hapa ilikuwa na damu There is one pillow there and then there is peace 